Can your ability to do one simple exercise predict your death? There is a large and growing scientific community that says, yes, it can. So we're going to take a look at an exercise routine that the Go Easy Fitness book spells out for you, and it's called the Live Longer Routine that helps you get better at this particular exercise. So let's dig into it, show you a little bit about it, show you some examples, and while we're going through it, give you some specifics on how to make sure that it can fit your lifestyle and change some of your old habits about starting exercise and stopping or risking getting injured, things of that nature. So I gotta use the little prompter here. This is the study, and you can see that it was published in Preventive Cardiology uh, just last year, and it was done out of Brazil, a group out of Brazil, and the specifics of the study are these. That included 2,000 patients aged 51 to 80, and they did a particular exercise called the sitting rising test. And you may have heard of this. This has been on all the national news. Uh, I just saw a news report on it literally today from my original hometown in St. Louis. So it's getting out there. And the uh, effects of the study were quite interesting because what it said, if you take a look at the details, it said that they use a 10-point scoring system for trying this exercise. And if you were less, of greater than eight points, you had a twice as high risk of death. I'm sorry, that should say less than eight points. You had, were twice as high risk of death in the next six years. Again, for the group over 51 to 80 that they followed. And each point, this is the better, that was the bad news. Here's the good news. For each point, you can increase your score through practice and other exercise that will get you in better fitness levels. You can have a 21% decrease in all-cause mortality. So what is this amazing exercise that can literally predict your death? Well, let's take a look at it, and then we're going to talk about it a little bit, then we're going to do it. Okay? This is the exercise, the sitting, rising test. And you can see it is what it says it is. You'll stand, you'll cross your feet over, you'll try to sit. I believe it's crisscross applesauce, the way the kids call it now. And then you will pause and then try to stand up without using your hands to help you. And there's a point system that you probably, I don't know if we can get close enough to see that, but you don't really need to see all the details, just get the idea. If you put a hand down, you take a point off. If you wobble, you take a point off. If you have to put your knee down, you take a point off. And then you come up with your score. And so some of you are watching, maybe some of you have seen it on the news programs. The reactions are amazing and interesting when people see this. Most are very skeptical. How could one move indicate if I'm going to be dying or not in the next six years? Well, I think you're missing the point. In other words, that may be what the scientific study showed. But what they're really saying is that balance is the key to long-term health. And the more things you do to improve, think of all the muscle groups, all the mental strength, all the different facets of your body that are involved with balance. It's so complicated. The more you can maintain and improve your balance, the better health you're in. It really is that simple. And I think that's what that study proved. And I'll give you this takeaway from it, irrelevant of what the mortality statistics are, which I think you should pay attention to. Some people think it's a joke because maybe they have bad knees from football or a bad back or whatever, so they don't want it to be true. But rather than look at it cynically like that, a better way to look at it is, hey, whatever improvement I get towards that ability is going to give me a better quality of life. And I think that's the message. I'm not, I'm not in the business of predicting when people are going to die. Okay? We had a whole discussion about that in our prior show about the soda tax. People saying it's causing people all kinds of health problems are going to die sooner. There's no evidence of that. And this exercise, I don't know what kind of evidence we may have that this is going to offer you a longer life or not. But I do know it will offer you a better quality of life. So you'll want to practice it and learn it. Um, so we're going to do a little routine. And we're going to show you how it works. And again, it's called the Live Longer Routine, part of Go Easy Fitness.